Want to take a real quick look at the uh, ice cream sandwich ROM uh, by Joel's. This is the Android version 4.0.3, and this is a beta. Um, I would argue that it's probably further along than a beta, but you know, this is how he's labeled it, so that's what it's called. Okay. First thing we're gonna look at. Uh, and I'm sure most of you who know about Ice Cream Sandwich knows about the multitasking and, and similar things. And this is actually similar to uh, WebOS. Similar, I say. Not exact, but it's similar. And, uh, you know, we'll just get rid of a few things right now. Uh, that way, uh, I'm not going to get rid of screencast because that's what we're using. But uh, that way we're not using anything else, really. Uh all in all, this ROM is pretty smooth. Like I said, it's probably farther along than a beta. Uh, the only thing that is not functioning properly, is, or at all, I should say, is the camera. There are things that are not functioning properly, but uh, mostly it, it's the camera that's not um, the main thing that's not working. Um, Wi-Fi does work, um, and also Bluetooth does work. Um, was it was the other things that it asked uh i haven't used bluetooth i don't even have a bluetooth so when i say that bluetooth works i'm saying it out of what everybody else is saying and what is posted on the op of the thread um on xda uh, while we're talking about bluetooth and wi-fi we'll come down here and we'll look at the settings uh right here these are your settings that uh, you use for Wi-Fi, GPS, uh, and other things. And uh, the airplane mode is actually a good thing to have right here, right now, because the data is working, but um, you need to toggle airplane on and off every now and then after a reboot to uh, get data working. It only takes a second. Toggle it on, toggle it off, and data should be working. Uh, if it doesn't work the first time, try it a couple more times. Um as far as uh, bugs are concerned, there's not many but uh, the, anymore, but uh, what bugs me the most is uh, this voicemail um, notification and also the data usage warning notification. Uh, I don't have any voicemails, but it's still showing me that I have a voicemail, and it says to dial star 86, but when I dial star 86, it doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure how to get rid of that. If you guys got any ideas, hit me up. Let me know. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can um, figure it out and let other people know. Uh, not sure if it's, I'm not sure if it's a problem everybody's having or just me. Uh, the data usage warning, um, I'm not sure if that's baked into Android or if that's something that was baked into Android on part of Verizon because, you know, it's telling me that... Uh, a warning about my mobile data um, from January 23rd to the 26th um, says I use about 5.18 gigabytes. Uh, I really could care less because I'm on Sprint, but needless to say, uh, I'm looking at it right now. I hit the menu. There's no option to get rid of this notification, so it's it bugs me, but it's there. It's not that big of a deal. It's a minor bug. Um far as the home screen is concerned, you can go to the menu, uh, Trey Boucher settings, home screen, and uh, unclick or uncheck the search bar and go back to the home screen. And the search bar will be removed for those who don't like it. Um, not really too useful uh, to remove it. I like it, but, you know, some people don't like it. They want to remove it for real estate, and for real estate purpose, it's not really valid because uh, I'm going to put that there. You can't use that that portion of the screen anyway, so there's no way to use that portion of the screen, so, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, another thing about this uh, home screen is uh, this clock rate, or excuse me, uh, Oh, the home screen and the other screens, I mean, I guess these are all home screens. Um, the widgets don't stretch the full length of the screen. As you can see, there's, you know, it looks to be like a quarter of an inch between the apps and the edge of the screen and maybe more like a half an inch. 
than a quarter of an inch, but uh, it doesn't stretch like you would have on other ROMs. And I don't know if that's just this ROM or if it's ice cream sandwich, period, because uh, I I'm willing to bet it's this ROM because um, I, I I put ice cream sandwich by deck, de uh, by, by Kush deck onto a... Uh, Onto here and uh. I I had a small problem in the other room, so I had to stop this video. I'm gonna restart it now, and I'm gonna try to get through it as fast as possible. Cause uh, this app screencast it used to be good, and now it's pretty much the biggest piece of shit I've ever used. Cause it always freezes or it doesn't record. So I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. What I was saying is. The widgets do not stretch the width of the whole screen, um, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure why, but uh, I think it has to do with this ROM because I put Kush Dex, uh Ice Cream Sandwich ROM on my father-in-law's Evo 3D, and it, uh, you know, it stretched it. it. It fit perfect. It looked perfect, so I'm not exactly sure why this doesn't. Um, but maybe that's just one of the bugs that they need to work out. Maybe it's the rosy or I'm not exactly sure. So, but uh, to give you an example, I'm going to take this off the screen. And as I do, I'm going to touch the screen to pull up a widget. And you see, it doesn't give you an option to, to do a widget. It gives you gallery, live wallpapers, and wallpapers. That's another thing I don't like about Ice Cream Sandwich uh, so far is that you have to go in the app drawer. At least my experience that I know of. Uh, and then you go over here to your widgets. To put your widgets on so it kind of sucks and I'm gonna put on this fancy widget and this is a theme that I created for um, um, fancy widget and uh, actually I parted it over. I'm not gonna say I created it it was created by uh, uh, the Sparky um, the Sparky 007 at XDA and uh, <clears throat> You can see I have to resize it down here to get the numbers and letters not to overlap the background. Uh, as you can see right there, the regular size it, it does. And uh, even when you resize it, although it looks better, you can't resize it the width of the screen. So you barely have uh, any of the background poking around the side. So it kind of looks, it doesn't look that great like it's intended to for uh, most of the sense. Um, clocks. So this is a work in progress, and uh, if I have to, then I'll try to re-edit it to, uh, you know, fit better. But uh, as it is, this is what it looks like. Not not as great as it should because of the width of the screen. Um, we'll uh, take a look at the YouTube app or the YouTube widget, and it, it's pretty it's pretty cool. A um, lot different than the gingerbread version. This is the ice cream sandwich version. Um, you know, gives you a couple different videos to flip through. Pretty cool. Um, other than that, the ROM's pretty good. Everything works, like I said, uh, except for the camera. And there's a few minor bugs, but nothing that's, you know, holding me back. I've been driving it for, uh, like four days now since, I think, the 22nd, so... You know, it, it, it's it's worthy to drive as an everyday phone, you know, if you don't need a camera. So, and if you do, you know, try Boot Manager. That might work, you know. But I'm out. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, um, oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, Wi-Fi Tether. Um, to enable Wi-Fi Tether. Um, to enable Wi-Fi tether, um, <clears throat> you're going to want to uh, make sure you get this version right here, which is uh, 3.1 beta 6. And uh, once you get that, you're going to want to set it up this way, uh, device profile. I put auto. You can try generic or Evo 3D and see if that works for you. It didn't work for me, but you could try it. Uh, setup method, W-E-X-T ad hoc. Uh, I guess that's because of the difference in uh, structure or framework. I don't know, but that's the way it works. 
Uh, I put enable access control, but you know you can do it however. MSS clamping and routing fix are a must, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you should be good to go after that. Um, <clears throat> one more thing, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, um, the Sparky 007, who uh, actually made this uh, this clock right here i'm i made it for fancy widgets but he originally made it for the sense um flip widget that is a uh, loga located in the um fusion apk of a, and it was um part of his uh 3.0 sense theme so uh much thanks to him for this i just ported it over here so we would have some aosp on our um I mean, some uh, sense on our a AOSP ROM. So, much thanks to him. Dedicated that clock to him. And uh, other than that, man, if you got any questions or comments, you know, go ahead and make sure you put them in the comments and uh, subscribe to me, like my video, or whatever. I'm out.